Did you know most bike racks are not approved for RV use? In this video, we're going to talk about how to research whether or not your bike rack is approved for RV or actually tow vehicle use, how to research that, and then one of the best all-around racks for under $400. Hi, I'm Jim and welcome back to our channel RVing into retirement. This week we're talking about bike racks and why all of them are not approved for RV use. And one of the primary reasons is that if your hitch has a tilting pin over here so that your bikes can tilt down, that is the weak point. And most of the manufacturers will not approve them for RV use uh, based on that. But there's several other factors, so why is that important? So if we go around and we take a look at where the wheelbase is, from the pivot point on the back wheel to the end of the bike rack, there's a lot of up and down movement. So your RV is going up and down, and it's just putting a lot of pressure on these bikes. And the second thing is there's motion back and forth. And so this puts a lot of stress and it's just like over time, like bending a paper clip. So really what you want is something that's very secure and able to withstand all the movements that happen behind an RV or a towed or even a trailer. Some manufacturers will come right out and say that their bike is not approved for RV use, it's prohibited, such as this one on Amazon. And what you wanna make sure is that you don't end up in a liability issue. Um, should your bikes fail or the bike rack fail and your bikes fall onto the road, you wanna make sure that you don't injure somebody that's behind you. And also, uh, you probably have some money invested in your bikes. You don't want to damage those either. So just play it safe. Make sure you do your research and find one that is uh, RV approved and towed approved. And so what we do is once we get to a uh, location, we will take this bike rack off and we'll put it on our tow vehicle and uh, use it for around town going to different parks and trails but it's interchangeable, it works on, on both. One of the best bike racks that we found was the Swagman e-spec. And there's a couple of reasons that this is a great all around, whether you have an electric bike or not, a trailer, a towed vehicle, this one works on just about everything. It's electric bike approved. It can hold a maximum load of two bikes at 70 pounds per bike. And the other thing is it's approved for RVs. This comes basically with these standard trays for your uh, uh, standard bike up to three inches, I believe, on the tire size. And then if you have fat tires like we have on our bikes, um, one of the things that they have is an extended tray that you can buy. Our tires are four inches wide. This will accommodate up to five and it has the extended tray. And what's really nice about this bike rack is that it cradles both the front and the rear wheel, and then the hook comes down over the central part and holds the bike on here. Some others just have a cradle in the back, and you need to take this arm and put it over the front tire and uh, if you have a lot of fenders on your bike that might not work for you. So let's go inside to the computer and I'll show you how to research whether your particular bike rack is approved for RV use or not. And the best place to research whether or not your bike rack is approved for RV use or not is eTrailer.com and I'll put a link to that in the description below. So the first one that we're taking a look at here is uh, a very popular bike rack. It's the Kuat NV 2.0 base model. It's a $650 bike rack. And as I was explaining outside that some of the bike racks had only one cradle, this one only has one cradle for your rear tire. And then uh, just a strap for the front and then an arm that comes down over the body. 
But if you scroll down through the eTrailer site, you'll find all the specifications and everything that you need to know about it. But this is the part that you're looking for right here on the bottom. You can see that this one is not approved for a fifth wheel motorhome travel trailer or flat towed vehicle. It's perfectly fine to use on a car, truck, SUV, or van, but not if it's being towed. The second bike rack that we're going to take a look at that's very popular out there is the Yakima uh, brand. This one's the hold up uh, bike rack. It's for two bikes. And again, it, it has uh, two cradles, one in the back, one in the rear, and that the extension arms and again what we do is just scroll down and this one is a little different you could see that it can't be used on a fifth wheel or a motorhome or a travel trailer but it can be used on the back of a vehicle that you're towing with your rv so every every hitch is so unique and different you really have to do this uh, research and again uh, we trust eTrailer as one of the higher uh, quality places that test out these racks and make sure that they get with the manufacturer and know whether or not they're approved for uh, back of an RV. Now let's take a look at the Thule Easy Fold. I've seen a couple of people using these and also saw them uh, pitched on another YouTube channel and uh, this is a, a great one. There's a couple of things that we personally didn't like about this. One was uh, the price. As you can see, it's $800. Uh, the second thing was that this is a tilting rack, as you can see in this picture over here. And as I explained outside, that's one of the weak points is that that pin that goes in there that allows the uh, hitch to be removed and folded down. But if you scroll down and, and see its approval, it's, it's rated for your motorhome, not a fifth wheel, not a travel trailer, and not a flat towed vehicle. Again, it, it has to do with testing. It has to do with the sway back and forth and the up and down motion that you get from your RV. And while we were outside, I talked about some of them uh, specifically say that they're prohibited. So this one on Amazon, uh, we, when we were looking, it looked like a really good uh, bike rack, um, except for, because it was for fat tire, we had fat tire uh, a bike, and it was heavy weight capacity for our e-bike. But then you get down to this last line here, and it says RV use prohibited. So you really uh, don't want to take that chance that you're going to put it on and it blatantly says this. If there is an accident, uh, any attorney would go point straight to this uh, RV use prohibited sign here and go after you for a lawsuit. So one of the best ones that we found is the Swagman e-bike. and. This one is in very popular demand. We ordered ours in October of 2019, and we just got it in February 2021. It's, it's only for two inch hitches, so there, it, it might not work for everybody, but Swagman does have other models that are equally approved for RV use and e-bikes. And if we scroll down on this page, you will see that this one can be used on just about anything. The one accessory you might need with the Swagman e-bike is a wider cradle if you have tires over three inches wide. Uh, I showed you those outside. They're $50 per bike. They'll go up to five inches and they come with a, a wider strap that will go around and buckle your tire down. And we'll put a link below to all of these products that I mentioned for the Swagman e-bike. Uh, I highly recommend if you see that it's in stock to order it and not end up like us uh, waiting four or five months to get this back in stock. At this point I want to ask a question to you. Do you know what bike rack you're using and whether it's approved? Put a note in the comments below and let us know and if you're having trouble researching it uh, I'll gladly help you out if you provide me with the name of your bike rack and how you're using it. 
If you found value in any of the information that we provided, uh, please like and subscribe. We come out once a week with information and tips on RV living full time and also some of our travel adventures. We hope to see you again and thank you. Have a great day.